Take the hangman's noose For the one of the names of my comrades But this I would not do And I am Roger Casement And I died by England's hand For bringing German rifles To the lonely man's land James Conley is my name The working people wear my life When they shot me down in Kilmainham jail It brought great civil strife And I am Patrick Pierce I was murdered by the foe Because I went the proclamation From the steps of the GPO That I heard said my name is Bobby Sands. He said it's good to hear Mandela's words ringing through the land. I hope they hear him up in Belfast, in Derry and Tyrone. Maybe then those English soldiers will know it's time. To go home Well I go In the morning Nothing made Sense at all But then I can't Believe That they knocked down The Berlin Wall Or they freed Nelson Mandela How could this Really be Maybe now we will see Ireland reunited and free. Maybe now we will see Ireland reunited and free. Uh, good evening. Good morning. It's, uh, 32 minutes past midnight, we're on the 7th of the 11th, sadly, a rotten game, a rotten defeat, defeated by a poor Ajax team, but given that Celtic depleted with injuries, players coming back from fitness, from being out, Coleman, Samaras, half fit, a uh, team ravaged by injury and the spine being sold off last season without proper reinforcements being uh, put up front. Mm, even with Bogusin tonight, we might have struggled, but that lingering thing will always be there. Pookie and Boa Stricter, how much did they cost? And would it not be better just having one player? There was a diamond up in the strike force. But Sarah V, these and other things we can talk about. It's uh, nothing to be ashamed. We're down at the top table. Uh, what league was Rangers playing in the night? Was it the Champions League? Oh, no, no, no. It was a minor Scottish league. Minor, the minor leagues, I think they call them in the USA. We were dining in the top table and they're in the minor leagues. So, Sarah V, no shame in getting beat by a four times ex European champions in Ajax, even though they may be dirty, filthy, Zionist scum hooligan bags. Sarah V, 
We are Celtic. Matters not a jot. We'll always be Celtic. Win, lose or draw. And we'll always be here. We don't do walking away and we don't do going home. Because we are crackpot McDougalls. So tell 10 to tell 10. Retweet to retweet. And I do apologise for missing the last couple of nights. I was sitting here in the same spot and... Uh, I didn't go and get a coffee on. I didn't go get a coffee on, so now I'm supercharged up to the max with a little sugar in, intake as well. So we're sugared up, we're coffeeed up, we're wired to the absolute fecking room. If it was a Dutch hooligan in front of me, I'd stick the nut in him and go to fucking town. In fact, is there any Dutch hooligans out there we can phone? Is there any Celtic fans out in the dam that we can talk to? Maybe we might try and phone man and out. Right, stay there, we're playing a few tunes. What tune's this? My little armor light. Oof. And it's down along the fog road, it's where I long to be. Lying in the dark with the Provo Company. I come right on me left, I another one on me right. A clip of ammunition for the little armor light. We're taking the quest tonight. If you want any truth, please give us a shout. A soldier, he said you are a swine. He hit me with his rifle and he kicked me in the groin. I begged and I pleaded, all oh, my manners were polite. But all the time I'm thinking of me little arm light. And it's down in the bog side, it's where I long to be. Lying in the dark with the Provo Company. A comrade on me left and another one on me right. And a clip of ammunition for me little arm light. Brave are you see man came marching up our street Six hundred pretty soldiers he had lined up at his feet Come out you curly pinions, come on out and fight He cried him only joking when he heard the arm of light And it's down in Malahi, it's where I long to be Lying in the dark with the Provo Company A comrade on me left and another one on me right A clip of ammunition for me little arm well, the army came to visit me, it was in the early hours With Saracens and Saladins and ferret armoured cars The thought they had me cornered, but I gave them all a fright With the armour piercing bullets off me, little arm alight And it's only in the new lodge, it's where I long to be Lying in the dark with the Provo Company A comrade on me left and another one on me right A clip of ammunition for me, little arm alight Well, when Pryor came to Belfast to see the battles won the generals they had told him, we've got them on the run But corporals and privates, while on patrol at night Say remember narrow water and the bloody arm light And it's down across the glen, it's where I long to be Lying in the dark with the Provo Company A comrade on me left and another one on me right And a clip of ammunition for me little arm light Ah yes, me little armor light. And now the Provos have dispensed with the little armor light. And I'm going with the little ballot box. The little ballot box to unite the whole of Ireland. So if you're a Sinn Féinot, if you're an IRA man who's given up the gun and you believe in the ballot box, come on, have a chat with the crackpot. Tell me the merits. Of the ballot box versus Armalite. The merits of the, ba the ballot box against the Armalite. The merits of playing with Pookie. Too Pookie or not too Pookie. Boa Stricter. I mean, they've got Boa Stricter and Pookie. Are those the two players you want to come on in the Ajax arena? against a powder puff Ajax team a team that yeah okay we know Matthews, we know Brown was Ledley on the pitch tonight? Did he get a game? I never saw him much if he was, forgive him 
if he was, so, ach well. So, if, but, say, maybes, and, uh, we'll play this, Roll of Honour. We'll play the Roll of Honour now, because, uh, if you might have heard my little call today, I was given a call by the police, and also tried to get a hold of Stephen House. So we'll try to conduct an interview with the top, Scot the top cop in Scotland. I think it's only fair and right that a crack pot like myself tries to contact him. It's only fair and right, since I've got other people on here. Some say he's the El Presidente of Scotland, the real El Presidente, instead of old Alex Salmonface. Old fish cake himself, he ain't the real presidente, it's Stephen House. So if you want to bypass all f official channels, so Stephen House, then come on board, give a crackpot a call. I'm a non discriminatory crackpot. We'll take on all Hawaii 5 here. It's 0141 416 1888. And the lovely police officer from London Road Police Station, he asked me not to. Uh, leave messages on the answer machine of the lovely Eleanor O'Neill at Glasgow Celtic Football Club. Yes, when I was doing a show I had to phone back and find out that there wasn't some uh, person on a wind up and it, in fact it was, I got through to the, the DC so a big shout out to the constable who God willing, he knows my efforts and he said, well, fair play to Eleanor, fair play to Eleanor, because she does say she understands uh, my predicament and my, and my cause and what, what, what I'm here to do. And I say, well, no offence was meant, and the copper said, well, if there was offence taken, it would have been done differently, this call. So there was no offence from Eleanor. So I do apologise for causing, especially that last call, I thought that... Even if I was doing that last call about the gas hookers, I thought maybe I might be a wee bit OTT. But I think it was seeing the, the funny light of it, hopefully anyway. So... Right, so I won't be phoning and leaving any messages on the Celtic uh, Chief Executive's desk phone number. No, I won't be leaving any messages at all. I said I promised I wouldn't leave any messages. But, uh, I'll be a good boy, I will be a good boy. I'll wait to see what I'm doing here. Right, so I'll put that there. Right, so no messages. Phone ringing or what? Thank you for calling Celtic Football Club. You're through to the Chief Executive's office. I'm sorry we're unable to take your call at the moment, but if you'd like to leave a message for Peter Lawwell or Eleanor O'Neill, please do so after the tone and we'll return your call as soon as possible. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press hash for more options. Hi, Eleanor. I was told not to phone you again. And it's alright, I'll hung up anyway. You're not getting a message. Right, well, I, I never left a message yet. I was told not to leave a message. I was told, I wasn't told I couldn't phone. But anyway, so I won't do it anymore. I won't leave any sudden messages. I will phone probably at some point to apologise for any offence. Apparently it was taking up space on the hard drive or something. The file was taking up a lot of space. So... Evening Partisan, is that Partisan? They can't follow me. It's a shame you your hallowed name to broadcast, embarrassing fact. Right, there's a guy here called Partisan, a married bloke, Celtic minded, strange. He's asked, what do you reckon? Should I give him a follow? Right, I'll give him a follow if you use crackpots, I'll follow him, right? Right. Safety numbers, as they say, right? I'll give this crackpot a tweet. Partisan, eh? I mean, there might be some zombie bastard. He's still to prove himself. We'll call him Rookie. We'll give him a, a green and yellow. We'll give him a retweet or a favourite. So, safety numbers, he's sitting there as a little egg. So, that's.